Hey YouTube land, welcome once again to an another action figure review from Ticonderous. We're doing, today we're going back to NECA with their Aliens, um, well the Kenner Aliens tribute line. And this is the Night Cougar Alien with Magnetic Kamikaze Parasite. Now, if you're not familiar with this line, uh, basically back in the 90s, Kenner released a set of figures based on the Aliens franchise, but they didn't really do them as the creatures from the movie. They kind of incorporated a whole bunch of random creatures, as in, like, this one being the Night Cougar. There was the Panther. There was a Wild Boar alien. They are all kind of animal, kind of animal and insect-style um, xenomorphs. So they actually did this one. Now, before I get on to the figure, we'll have a quick look at the box. The box is actually pretty cool. Uh, uh, the box is one of those flap open window ones. You have an image of the creature in the flap. The creature you would normally see behind there. Behind it is the kind of alien egg that they would have had that they used to have on the Kenner trip on the Kenner figures. And then you have a showcase of other figures that are available. Um, some of which were exclusive, so not all of these were kind of really easy to get. So there's Lieutenant Ripley, which was a Alien Day exclusive. Vasquez, which was also an Alien Day exclusive. Apone, Drake were standard releases. All these guys, the Snake Alien, the Rhino 1, Rhino version 2, and Scorpion were all standard. Queen Face Ogre, Alien Warrior. Um, now... What's interesting here is the alien warrior is, it doesn't give, or warrior alien, I don't remember them doing one as just a standard release. There was an alien versus predator two pack, which came with the alien warrior and the predator, which was a homage to the Kenner alien two pack with renegade predator. So like none of the predators are shown on this because there is a whole wave of Kenner inspired predators as well. You have the gorilla alien. Mantis Alien, which were the two of the very first ones that they did. And then you have the Blue Alien Warrior, the Purple Alien Warrior, which I don't remember the release of. I think it was done, again, might have been an Alien Day exclusive. And then you have Panther Alien, which was released the same time as this guy. They basically released a Panther and Night Cougar back to back. So you could pick up either or. I did get this guy from Big Bad Toy Store. I do want to get the Panther Alien, but I'm... Waiting to see if I can pick one up locally instead of getting one from Big Bad Toy Store. So I might save a few bucks on shipping. And that's pretty much it for the box. Now, the creature itself is pretty cool. It has its parasite, parasite, bleh, parasite launching thing. It is quite different to the original versions of these. So I will bring them in for a little bit at the end of this, but I'll go through most of the articulation first. So this thing is on a magnet. You can actually, it's translucent enough that you can actually see the magnet in there. I'm not sure if it's picking it up on screen, but you can see the magnet and you can just plop it on and it will just magnetize to the back of this guy. Um, it is designed in such a way that it fits kind of one way you probably can put it on the other way, but it just looks awkward. But it's the um, it kind of looks like a flying face hooker in a sense. So, but it kind of has this uh, the indent at the side here, so it kind of fits the shoulder blade a little bit nicer. But there's a lot of articulation in this guy. So the original ones, uh, from what I can see, the original uh, this isn't all original parts. These. It, make i think they're using the i don't think it's the dog alien i think it's the ones from the alien fire teams i think they re-sculpted the creatures from alien fire team i don't think they use dog alien for much of this like some of the rib cage and stuff like that is dog alien and the way the legs are are definitely the alien tree dog alien but they are newly they look like they're newly sculpted they, i don't remember the dog alien having these kind of bits on the side the feet might be the same from dog alien but they do look a little different in fact actually the dog alien ones had more um alien tree dog alien had a more cloven hoof look to it whereas these have more toes so 
I do think there might be some reuse more of the alien fire team figures which are just gotten released so these are kind of like the precursors to how the alien fire team figures would look but on the box on the art cover box art it does show it as a kind of bipedal pose whereas the original toys have always been a on the all fours so there's that there's a lot of joints on these guys so there's a neck joint and a base at the head joint you have the opening mouth and you have this cool translucent but has kind of silver splattering going across the dome the dome is quite small you do have the extending mouth and that's as far as it comes out so it doesn't come out super far because you can see where it should be is a lot shorter than on some of the other aliens some of the other alien heads kind of poke out a good bit so you have more range but this has that extra range it's shorter so it's designed to kind of go in the more crouching uh, bipedal or not bipedal uh, um, on all fours you do have a hinge at the shoulder it can rotate all around the shoulder you just have to be a little careful with it you have dual hinge elbows and you have a slight bend at the elbow in fact i wouldn't actually rotate it i think these are rotatable but because of the way they are i don't want to overstress them i know NECA figures can be very fragile so that is one thing i will say but these the hands do rotate and there is a hinge there is also a hinge on the two, two double fingers so it's the same on both hands so you can get kind of more crouched position a more natural looking crouch position there's an a waist crunch and can rotate there is a swivel on the tail there is a bendy wire in the tail so it gives it helps you with the posability on it the tail is quite cool it has this kind of big almost leaf like design to the stinger so it is kind of cool i don't think this has been used before in any of the other alien figures so i believe that is a new new design for him you have the hips that can splay out to the side just give it the range of movement to go around the hip for both the bipedal and the four legged position you have they're not chicken legs but you have like double hinge here at the knee and then there's a secondary kind of ankle joint and then another joint at the bottom and the feet do rotate there is peg holes on the bottom of the feet but none on the bottom of the hands but the hands are designed to kind of go into that four-legged pose so if i can get this guy into a kind of sneaky alien crouchy pose to kind of mimic what the original one looked like and we'll bring in one of the original ones now the one that i have doesn't have this red paint apps on it so if i bring it in this is my original night cougar alien and you will note that it is more silver and black now it does retain the kind of black silver that this one does the original single carded version of this night cougar alien you see they did a great job replicating the this kind of weird short dome head on the NECA one. Uh, the original one that was a single carded release does have the red striking, the kind of striping going through it and stuff like that. This one came as part of a two pack because a good while back, a, a toy company, or not toy company, but a toy store, I think they were a toy store. They could have been a, just a general store, but they had an exclusive wave of figures called KB. I think they were KB toys, so I'm pretty sure they were a toy store um they had exclusive double packs so this is from one of those double packs it was they had the standard alien figures they repainted them all to have kind of black silver deco to kind of replicate the movies and this is the one that i believe if i remember correctly it came with vasquez vasquez um so there was night cougar versus vasquez there was the king alien versus hicks then there was a Scorpion Alien versus Hudson. Uh, then there was the Queen Facehugger versus O'Malley. And I think that was the four sets. There was only four of them. They didn't do every Marine. I don't think they did. Yeah, they didn't do a repaint of Apone or Drake. So 
Uh, this is the one that came with that. Now, you have the little thing on, the little uh, parasite thing on this. So if I do its action feature, where you press down, in fact, if I just move my camera down a bit, you'll be able to see it. So the way it worked is you press down and it would launch the, um, the actual spring-loaded missile firing little critter off. So they did seem to take a bit of artistic licensing with these. They are quite different. The one on the original aliens kind of looked more like a little bat-headed alien head. And you can see there's like legs crunched up in underneath it. It would have been cool if they could have replicated something of like that. This looks more like just a flying face hugger. But it would have been cool if they kind of had that kind of bat, weird little critter legs thing. In fact, this, the way this is designed, it almost looks like a small juvenile version of what's called a swarm alien. Where it has just two giant legs, small little but, uh, wings, and then it had another parasite on top of its head that would would be removable and had electronics in it so if we just get this thing back into place hopefully it won't fly off but as you can see this was designed to be crouching only it wasn't or not crouching but uh four-legged only as a panther you still have that kind of big leaf design tail piece so you can see the homage is is there they took a few liberties with how the overall design looks but for the most part, it looks exactly the same. Now, I will say that with my dog alien, I've had the first release version of was it the, I think Ultimate Dog Alien, or at least one of the early ones. I do know that over time, this waist um, or ab crunch section can get loose. So just be wary of that when posing it. it if you have it in the crouch position over time, it could just droop and go thump like that so just be wary of that but overall it's quite cool and then just for the other comparison i'll bring in the original this was the first one that was released as far as i know at least uh, this was the first one i remember seeing and i had one before this is the panther alien i remember getting this one way before seeing the night cougar i think like this was like wave one and then night cougar was released in wave two I could be wrong, but it looks... I remember getting one of these years ago. This is a, a second one. This isn't my original. The original one I had, these legs tend to be quite fragile, especially on this one, because I think there might be gold plastic syndrome going on with these. Uh, even though I don't... I think it's only a gold spray. It's not actually, you no know, gold plastic. But I found that these legs snapped off. So I had one that was... Just had the front legs on it and it still had all its bits but this also has the same launching uh, gimmick as well so there is three versions of it in the vintage line or the vintage deco the kb exclusive one which is kind of all black silver the original panther alien and then the night cougar which would match closer to this deco one other thing is that they did kind of reuse the not the body of these but the similar gimmick on one of the other aliens which was a wild boar alien it has a very similar look in the sense it has an, uh, this kind of moving spring loaded arms at the front but it did a different gimmick altogether so there you go guys it's a really cool alien um i haven't had any issue with this guy i know some people when they get NECA stuff they'll have qc issues straight off the bat so far, I haven't had any issues with this one. Um, I do look forward to getting the uh, Panther version. Um, but as I said, I'm kind of waiting to see if I can pick one up locally. But overall, it's a really cool um, design creature. A great homage to the original. And I do recommend picking them up. I do have the other alien figures from the Kenner line. Or the NECA Kenner homage figures if i can just bring another one in here so to have him behind this is the scorpion alien i'm not sure if he's off screen you know let me just move things around a slight bit this is the scorpion alien all the other ones i have are not here with me at the moment but on the shelf these guys will look all awesome together my only thing thing is i really hope and does i have her handy 
and I want to see them do this in a kind of more non-traditional but Kenner style version. I would love to see them. This is the Kenner Queen. This is the first queen to did it, or the second, depending on if you count the Flying Queen. They both came out around the same time. This is one of the deluxe Kenner figures. She had a lot of gimmicks. She had this whipping tail action gimmick and she had a kind of pump for the double mouth. Now, they probably wouldn't do these into the figures. Like, this is the closest that you have for the gimmick. They don't have it firing or anything like that. But I would love to see them do the Alien Queen in this kind of more bulky, big style. Then the kind of tall thin slender one that we get from the movies i don't I, i'm not saying they shouldn't reuse the queen they probably will because they do reuse a lot of their own alien uh the components for the aliens to make the kenner ones but i would like to see them do a queen that's more bulky like the legs on this one are way chunkier compared to the queens in fact she has an extra set of arms that the queen never had she actually has uh two g four uh, she had six arms instead of the four. Uh, the original queen just had two big arms and then the two tiny ones, whereas this one has an extra set of appendages. So, like, something like that would be really cool to see uh, them pull off in the Kenner line. Hopefully, they might announce it, uh, but we'll just have to wait and see. But there you go, guys. A quick, well, it's probably not a quick look. It's quite a, a bit of a look, in-depth look, at the Night Cougar Alien. Do I recommend it? Yes, I do. It's a really cool alien. Just be wary that NECA stuff does tend to be a bit more fragile, hence why it's aimed at adult collectors. They're not toys in the sense that they're robust and that they're designed for you know multiple play. They're really more designed for sitting on a shelf or in the occasional posability. But other than that, they are really cool. So do recommend grabbing one of those if you can get one. And they should be available at the time of this recording on most uh, retailers and e-tailers. They seem to be one of the more recent ones that were released. So I do recommend grabbing one. So hope you enjoyed this video and I hope it was an interesting look. And I hope you enjoyed it. So please feel free to like, comment and subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you on the next video. Cheers, guys.